hello guys welcome to my channel and today the Frisians came out so I'm excited and I'm in the winter village because I already looked at them and I'm picking this one which is in the winter village and also today I am riding molasses which is <laughs> I know it's a silly name <laughs> which is a Halloween horse don't judge me <laughs> and uh and I have a little friend here from the Halloween thing, uh, the skeleton cat. Anyways, let's let's go do this. Oh yeah. Oh, and also I should read the description for the hydrant first because I forgot about it in the other video. So I'm gonna read it for you guys. The mountain ranges of Jorvik are a mysterious place with steep summits, profound gorges, and pockets of hidden valleys. Few animals thrive in this rocky environment, one of, the, one of them being the legendary horse known as Hydrin, or Hydrin, I don't know. With deft hooves and agile limbs, Hydrin scales in mountains of yore with the ease of a mountain goat. <laughs> Preferring the fresh air of higher elevations, Hydran has made a home in the ranges. If you're lucky enough to catch a glimpse of this mystical creature, chances are it's from a great distance. There's no leopard-like sports on Hydran's coat. Plend them into a, the stony rock faces, allowing them to slink about the mountains undetected this gives them the advantage to do what they do best protect the other wild animals from danger being a lone wolf of the mountains hydrant finds finds it's hard to get along with humans and other animals but what they lack in them in malleability they make up for tenfold in loyalty and adiosinous i don't know what that is but no, whatever. Magic horses on Jorvik are creatures of stories and folklore. As the tales are passed down over the ages, the legends of these horses have been kept alive. Like other magic horses in Jorvik, Hydran shows its true colors in wild places and will conceal its appearance in populated areas, whether in its magical form or disguise, to blend in other... In with other horses, Hydran rides just like the curly horse it most resembles. Aw, oh, I like that. <laughs> it's so cute. Now, with the Frisian. So, to me, the Frisian looks okay. Like, I don't hate it, because, like, it does look good in a way. It's just it's a little stiff, that's all. Anyways, let me, uh, read it. It's hard not to be awed when you see a Frisian horse galloping in an open field, flowing mane, tail, and fetlock ruffling in the wind, and head held high. For centuries, the Frisian has been a horse of desire, from a well-disciplined workhorse to a fearless metal, med medieval war horse, hailing from Fries land <laughs> province in the Netherlands, the Fries Friesian can trace its history back to the ancient world. That's really cool. In the Middle Ages, Friesian horses were re-owned as the mounts of knights and kings, powerful enough to carry a heavily armored rider, while maintaining the agility to navigate the fields of battle. The Frisian is a breed that wins wars. So they're pretty strong. <laughs> Frisians would go on to acclaim as both ar agricultural workhorses and carriage horses, finding their way throughout Europe and into the Americas. But between undisciplined crossbreeding with bulkier breeds and industrialization, in destroy relation making the sturdy workhorse is obsolete. The once treasured Frisian lion fell into obscurity and nearly disappeared entirely. Thankfully, in the early 20th century, passionate breeders created a new stud book in per to preserve and promote the lion. 
gradually returning the Frisian to its seat of honor. Frisian horses are known for their high set necks, anime gaze, and powerful legs, and hidden corners. Traditionally, the breed is known for the pitch black color of their glossy coats, and in some rare cases, fiery chestnut conjuring imagery of noble knights in shining armor. On Yorvik, breeders have found success raising Frisian sport horses in a range of colors and markings. Regardless of coat color, all Frisians on Yorvik are owned for their long flowing manes, perfectly suited to a range of grooming styles. Oh, oops. You know, whatever. <laughs> the Frisians' grace and power paired with a loyal and enthusiastic temperament allow them to excel in a variety of disciplines. Their draft groups make them excellent trotters, and most recently their striking presence has made them favorites in the dressage world. Their elongated gates and beautiful frames make quite the statement in the arena. In addition, the Frisians on Jorvik can execute a special move called the Cantor Perete. You're sure to turn heads when you and your horse Perete, like for OT, dancing at a ball. If you're looking for a glorious companion with the bravery of a knight and the elegance of a queen, look no further than the Frisian. That was a nice story. We learned some new things, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's so expensive, but I'm gonna buy it. I think I'm gonna call it Cinnamon Fall. <laughs> I'm gonna call this Black Beauty because to me it, it reminds me of Black Beauty. So, and they don't have Black Beauty. Oh, I meant Black. Okay, can you move up, please? Let's just do a, a then. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say angel, I guess. And then put beauty. I know they have beauty somewhere. Yeah. There we go. And now I have to go to my stable, so you can. Just skip this video. I like skip some of the video because <laughs> um, I don't have an editing thing. So have fun with this loading problem I have. Do do do. I'm excited to use the move though. It's really fun looking to do. I saw it in the trailer. How's your days been going, guys? <laughs> My days just... I don't know, I'm just tired. Today I'm really tired. Anyways, I'm just gonna set you in the stable for now, I guess. Let's see where you at. Wait, where are you? Oh, you hiding on me? You would come over here. You're not hiding on me. Oh, you look so pretty. Now I have a Frisian. Oh, it just looked my hand. Oh. Is that their idol move? Okay. Well. Very good. So this is the walk. I'm trying to find the legs. Okay. And then this is the trot. If I turn around. Trot. No, trot. Thank you. <laughs> and then this is the canter. And then the special move. Let me see the special move. Oh, there we go. That's called the pirouette, I think it's called. I keep forgetting. But the hair flows. Stiff. 
that's all I'm complaining. But yeah, that's good. Now let me try to find an outfit you can see the flower again. It's probably not gonna take long, but still you you should skip it. Because I take forever. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna put the horse here on first. No, that's not what I want. No. No. Oh wait, that is the one I want. Okay. That one on you. I guess I'll use that for now. And then... Oh wait. I can put bows. Because all mine is a girl. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, and then maybe, yeah, that, that would match, and then what type of pet should we bring? Hmm, what should we bring? I'm gonna bring black cat. There. That would do for now. And actually, my outfit fits with that, so we're good. That's pretty. Okay, so now we're out, and now I'm testing all of them, so that's the canter last time, so this is the slow gallop, well this is supposed to be, but that's not to me, this is the slow gallop, and then you go really fast, so, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was fun for you, it was fun for me definitely, 100%. Anyways, see you guys next time!